How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Yes, another video related to Forza Horizon 5. I didn't expect to make this one, however, we've had some more information and more rumours come out about the next game. There seems to be quite a lot of little rumours and little leaks, some of which could be fake, some of which could be real, but all of these little ones are sort of adding up into a bigger picture about what we could be seeing very soon. And as you know, I like to cover rumours and leaks and stuff like that on this channel, whether it's fake or real, I cover it and tell you my honest opinion and basically give you the information to make your own judgement yourself. Please do consider subscribing to the channel if this video helps you out or you like the information. And also guys, please do consider following me on Instagram, that is where I am most active along with Twitter. You get to see some pictures of my sexy car. Now we're finally in summer. Let me be very quick in explaining this. Forza Horizon 5 was not supposed to come out this year. The last Forza game we got was Forza Horizon 4, meaning that we should be getting a motorsport next. However, because the new motorsport game is currently in the works, um, with a sort of new development um, strategy. Um, there's been many leaks and rumours about Forza Horizon 5 coming out this year before the next motorsport, seeing as it doesn't look like we're getting the motorsport this year either. The first thing I'm going to cover is something that I think is fake, and I want to show you this just so you can, you know, not believe it. Um, I mean, you, you feel free to believe what you want, but my opinion is that it's fake and we're going to show you it now. There was this 4chan post by the looks of it that's been floating around which included a ton of supposed leaks about new games and stuff like that. And lots of sort of articles cover this because it does say about Forza Horizon 5 being based in Puerto Rico, releasing October the 5th this year. Now, quite a lot of the articles just focus on the Forza Horizon 5 part of it. As you can see on screen, they do say that, you know, it's going to be releasing on October the 5th. It's in Puerto Rico. Um, it's got this and that. All this is coming out as well. However, if you look at the actual post itself that it's grabbing this information on, it just doesn't seem very correct. It mentions that the um, reveal event will be streamed on June the 17th, which is around when games are announced. So that's true. But then below that, there is a supposed leak about something called the Xbox C, which is an implant device, which is basically a headset. It says that there's going to be a trailer for an implant device that a two-year-old had implanted that, as, as it says here, is a, is a Bluetooth for mobile devices and a headset for Xbox games as well. I get we're in 2021, but that sounds awfully futuristic. That is a part of this leak that came out that just seems like, it just seems like a load of rubbish. An implant device that you get implanted that's a headset? Really? I mean, maybe someday, but it just doesn't seem... No. And of course, this is the same post which says Forza Horizon 5 is going to have a world premiere gameplay on June the 17th and it's going to be set in Puerto Rico and releasing on October the 5th. And the fact that they added this stupid implant thing in just makes it just seem like a load of rubbish. The whole thing's rubbish. The whole thing about Forza Horizon 5 being set in Puerto Rico and releasing on the October the 5th very clearly made up in this post. Anyway, so far this video has been bad news. We've got a release date for this year and a cool location that's turned out to be a load of rubbish. However, let me talk about the good stuff now. We're going back over to Twitter now. Now Twitter is sometimes unreliable, it's sometimes reliable when it comes to tweet, tweets and leaks and stuff like that. It has been accurate in the past with like the Hot Wheels expansion and stuff like that. There's a few people in question that we need to talk about. One is Jez Corden, the other one is Jeff Grubb, and then there is, what's his name? Clobril. Now these are all people which are in that scene of Twitter which, you know, sometimes have access to these, this kind of information that can get leaked. You know, Jez is a, a tech blogger and editor um, and bits and bobs like that. They're all in that kind of reliable area that we want to see these kind of tweets from. Now Jez randomly tweeted this. I really want to visit Mexico someday with a Mexican flag and then a car. Okay, fair enough. So far, nothing's looking off. He just tweets that he wants to visit Mexico someday. Now, someone replied to that tweet saying, which would you want to visit first, Mexico or Japan? Okay, Japan's been brought up now. He replies to that saying, hmm, that's tough. Maybe Mexico, because Japan is supposedly really expensive. Okay, that's fair enough. He's picked Mexico. 
Japan has been mentioned sort of randomly, but it still looks like it could just be a normal conversation. And this is where the uh, Jeff Master 3000 comes in. He tweeted, I'm doing my Duolang Duolango, Duolingo, whatever, Spanish lessons as well. El Coq Vavroom. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. But that translates to the car goes vroom. Very random. Now cars are starting to be brought up. You know, they're just talking about Mexico here. Why are cars being brought up? Well, Forza comes into mind. At this point, quite a lot of the replies are talking about, oh my god, is this a Forza Horizon 5 hint or leak here? Is it going to be in Mexico? But the issue here is so far there hasn't been any mention of Forza. You know, it's just some guys talking about Mexico. Well, I bring you over to Clobril now. He posted a pay -up post, I'm not sure what website this is from, I've only found screenshots of it. But he actually made a post saying, you see Mexico. I see sand beaches, rainforests, colourful cities, rivers, ancient ruins, deserts, waterfall, caves, canyons, rich vegetation, donkeys, coyotes, um, montane regions, culture, all in one single location. Mexico. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. He's talking about Mexican being a, lo a brilliant location for all of the above, all of which will be brilliant for a Forza game. Now, because this guy posted this, there was another tweet made on Twitter um, in, I think it's Spanish. It must be Spanish or something similar. But it translates to English saying, Clobril joins people that believes that Forza Horizon 5 will not be developed in Japan. Puerto Grigo has been Puerto Rico has been previously mentioned as we debunked at the beginning of the video. And Clobril, like Jeff Grubb does, believes that the game will be released this year. That's rumours that have been going around. My opinion, I think Playground Games will not pull Japan until it reaches a peak of quality in, in, in the game. And then there's another tweet saying, what do I mean? Surely Forza Horizon 5 will be a great game as usual, but if it comes out before the next motorsport, it means that it won't have the advances that motorsport will have and it won't take the most advantage of the Forza tech so why would they make the next game Japan if they haven't got all of the advantages yet they'll save Japan for the big best game now Forza's being mentioned Mexico's being mentioned and it's all piecing together however who replied to that tweet and basically said yes Jeff Grubb Jeff Grubb replied saying that's how it is Japan no so lots of different people here sort of joining together and piecing it and replying to each other and sort of agreeing on the same thing. We've got Jez and Jeff having a backwards conversation about, you know, just wanting to visit Mexico and cars go vroom. And then we've got the post from Clobril, which talks about how Mexico is, is a really good place for having lots of different variety of things. And then we've got someone on Twitter sort of explaining why this would be a good idea to have it as Mexico and not as Japan just yet. And then the original people giving these hints saying, yes. Now the really cool thing about all this is the only thing that sort of points to this not being true is if is it was in Puerto Rico. But we've already looked at them leaks and they, they're quite obviously fake. So, yeah. Now the one good thing to take from this is that tweet was made talking about why Forza Horizon 5 would be a good idea for it not to be Japan and how everyone's actually agreeing on the same thing. The very person that replies to that is the same guy that made these Mexican hints. So to put it short, the same group of people that agree that Forza Horizon 5 is not going to be Japan and it's going to be something similar of the same people which were making hints about Mexico. More things that make sense. Mexico is quite a good location. It's one that we've not had before. Yes, we've had sort of America. We've not had Mexico. If Forza Horizon 5 isn't going to have the crazy new advancements that we're gonna have from the, the new technology that Forza Motorsport has, it would make sense for them to not make the next game Japan just to save Japan for the big, big, Forza Horizon 6 or whatever. So yeah, as I said in my last video, we're only we're only five or six weeks away from where these games are usually announced. So it could be very, very soon that we hear about all this. My personal opinion on these rumours are I'm leaning a lot more towards Mexico than Japan now. I really do believe this could be true. 
But yeah, let's finish it off with a very, very quick 30 second recap. We've got Jez, which is a tech blogger, all to do with Xbox and Microsoft stuff, saying that he wants to visit Mexico someday with a car emoji there. Someone replies asking Mexico or Japan, which one would you visit first? He says Mexico first. Jeff then retweets it saying he's been practicing his Spanish. The car goes vroom, again hinting towards cars. Very strange. Then we've got the post all about why Mexico is such a good location. Some people see it as boring, but Clobville, see, Clobville sees it as a very good location. And then when Forza is mentioned about why we're not getting Japan this year, we're getting something else. Puerto Rico has been mentioned. You know, it all makes sense as to why we're not getting Japan this year, we're getting it next time. The very guy that replied to that is the same guy that made Mexican tweets. However, the mention of Puerto Rico in that tweet was previously debunked in the video earlier in a very obviously fake 4chan post about some stupid implant that you can put in your head. Very, very interesting times. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are we getting Forza Horizon 5 in Mexico? We'll have to wait and see within the next month or two. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. I'll see you all later.